So let's break down the Evil Queen. So the Evil Queen's objective is to defeat Snow White. To do that, you first have to get four ingredients. You're gonna have to learn how to brew poison instead of vanquishing. And then you're gonna have to defeat Snow White and you can defeat other ones with the Take a Bite card as well. Um, you're gonna have to do that at Snow White's location and we'll go over all of those things right now. So she has a special setup. You have to have the lock location at the Dwarf's Cottage. And in order to unlock it, like we mentioned, you have to have all four ingredients and you have to play all four of them. So these ingredients, they are kind of like effects, but the first time that you play each of them, you're gonna put them below your board. If you play it a second time, you just do what it says and then discard it. So once you get these four, which actually the, the abilities that they have are pretty nice. When you put those four, you take off this locked location, which is really nice. And then your focus is on Snow White and getting rid of her. In the Evil Queen's realm there are some activated abilities i've listed all of the cards right here and so basically with the activated abilities what that means is when you go on your on your location in your realm that has an activate which as you can see right here there's one here and one here so she's got two locations that allow that which makes it pretty powerful unless they both get blocked by the heroes at the top so you got to watch out for that but you can do some pretty great stuff with all of these uh, one of which is the probably the most important is the magic mirror you can pay three power and find Snow White. So this can be useful because other people may play the different heroes and so you can find her and get rid of her pretty quick if you're able to find the magic mirror after you get the four ingredients. So like we mentioned right there with the magic mirror, the other cool thing about it is that every time a fate action is targeting you, you get to draw an extra card. So again, if you can get that out early, that makes it really, really nice because I think that uh, Evil Queen's fate deck is really balanced against her, and so anything that you can do to help get that extra extra help is really, really nice. As we mentioned earlier, there are no vanquish actions on her board, so she has to use the take a bite and brew poison to get rid of the heroes. So this action right here, which is the brew poison action, is on the first base, the laboratory, and so it adds a fifth action that you can perform while at this location. To do it, you're gonna pull from your own power supply and put the poison. So you have to accumulate the power and then you have to brew poison to turn it into, turn it into poison, obviously. Um, so when you do that, you can do as many as you want at a time. But again, you can only, if you only have five, the max you can do obviously is five. So the poison is no longer considered power. You can't just turn it back at any time if you realize that you didn't want to do that. Uh, once it's done, then it cannot be turned back into power. And then the take a bite. So this one is used to defeat all of the different heroes and it's based on the number of strength that the hero has. You play that much poison along with the take a bite and then you can get rid of the, the hero from the realm. Uh, remember that it's not just this number here, it's based on the other abilities. So there's some abilities that will increase all of the one, all of the strength by one, and so then you would take that into account in the number of poison. And if you don't have enough poison to defeat a hero, you cannot play take a bite. 